succeed with home games to get to the Super Bowl. This is an enormous game. 904 The Time on 7 Night Zone. Joining us live in studio, our buddy Steve Filippo is with us. How you doing, brother? Morning. Nice to see you. Coming in from uh, Davio's, brand new Italian restaurant. Everyone's always, I, I, I told you, I get more emails about where to eat than I do about anything else. And I've been telling folks about your place. It's like the top Italian restaurant in Boston now open at Phipps. Why'd you end up in Atlanta, brother? Well, the Simon family asked us to come down here. I met David Simon up in Boston. That's the guys who are on the mall. Right, mall, right. right? Yeah. So they asked us to come down here, and I just fell in love with the city. Yeah. Oh, I fell in love with the weather. Yeah, until, so, until the last two days. Good thing I didn't come down here in December. I, got, <laughs> I came down here in the spring. It was beautiful. Hey, uh, Davi's been around in Boston how many years? 25 years now. Yep. One, 25. Of the, one of the top. This is a place, anytime people go to Boston, I say you got to check out Davia's. they got this enormous, awesome uh, Italian restaurant. What do you think makes for a great Italian restaurant? You've eaten in thousands of them. What, 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 why, as a guy who's owned this for 25 years, what makes for a great Italian? Other than the well, meatball sub to me. <laughs> well, I think it starts with the sauce. Let's face it, right? The red sauce. Right? Did you just tell me that? I just said it. You just said to yeah, me, that's uh, why sauce. I would go it's, back. Yeah, that's where my mother, you know, my grandmother taught me how to make a sauce when I was, you know, 10 years old. And, uh, we still make the same sauce. That's so where it so all begins. Where did she? Did you used to have you do your Sunday night dinners, right? That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So where did uh, that happen in the house? She well, did. my family's from Providence, uh-huh. so you know Federal Hill, a very yeah. Italian area. Uh, so that's where I learned all all my stuff from my grandmother, and then uh, my mom is Portuguese, so I kind of have an Italian Portuguese uh, feel to it. So my mom's a great cook as well, and I just grew up cooking with my mom. Yeah. Uh, and then I went to Boston University and. Went to a chef school, and I was the original chef 25 years ago, and, uh, and then we've grown from there. You know, now we've got five restaurants, and we're all over the place. But uh, you know, we came down here late August, and it's been going great, Steak. I mean, we really, the people here in Atlanta, I think, are really fall in love with our restaurant. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I've got the menu in my hand. I will also admit, I have not been to the restaurant itself. Do you know what I like about this menu already? There's choices. Yes, a now, lot of them. I've been to a lot of Italian places where I don't want choices. Give me six things, right. make them really well, and I'm really happy. But if you have a sauce that you can put on a number of things, like a lunchtime menu, yeah. that's that long. they got got meatball subs. they got unbelievable steaks. We're not just Italian. You know, we are a great steakhouse. You know, that's why we're a Northern Italian steakhouse. We're, our steaks are from California. We have this brant meat that is... Uh, no steroids. Uh, it's just unbelievable, this meat. Pa- this Patrick, get on the air for a second. Patrick, Because the guy has not our, our engineer has not stopped oh, eating since you arrived. <laughs> You've been here for with us about almost, you know, a decade. You've I eaten have. a lot. Is that the biggest, best spread you ever had? It's, it's top top two. <laughs> what, top are you two. Eating, what are you eating right now? What do you want, death row? How much food do you want to eat? <laughs> what are you eating right now? I stole some of Newton's meatball. <laughs> I got to tell you, I was in that room with him. It was hard. To, the smell was killing me because he had so much food in there. It's usually not the food, though. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It is Davio's, what it is. It's, it's lunch. It's, it's dinner. It's Sunday right. brunch. they got a late-night bar. It's Steak, not one of those fish. uptight places you can hang out at the bar if you right. want. Yeah. It, it's you, maps. If you're shopping at Phipps, you need to go here. The bar is what I love. they got a big, huge circular bar, two flat-screen TVs, awesome appetizers. It's a guy's place. It's a date-night place. You see... Uh, you know, Arthur Blank's been in there, Matt Ryan's been in there, Tony Gonzalez, all those guys. You love having the sports guys because in Boston, that's a big deal there. Right? Yeah, we, we've been known to have all the sports guys as well as the rock stars. We, you know, we just – it's been that way since the beginning. Uh, you know, Joe Torre has been coming in when he was here uh, just in August. We just missed him by a week. Uh, it was very frustrating uh, when he was here to play the Phillies. But I don't think we'll see him back next year. Right? No. I think can... Now, Derek Jeter walks in your Boston yes. restaurant. What, how is he treated by folks around him? Well, first of all, you don't even notice him. He kind of just fits right in. You know, it's not like a basketball player or a football player. You kind of notice them. Yeah. He just fits right in, and no one really bothers him. Or you know, That's what's great about Davios. A lot of the stars are just treated well. And, yeah. you know, it's different but, when they're on the field versus off the field. But he's a good guy. Like, he's good. unbelievable. You know, he, I have a lot of stories about him. He's so great to the staff. You can always tell how someone is to, to me as an employee of a company, a restaurant, or a waiter. You can see how famous people are, how they treat those people. And he's class act like matt ryan is you know he treats you with so much respect he talks to you you know he, and that's what's so exciting about can, it. Can, can you you don't want to be in the jackass uh, category of you don't want to tell us about anybody who's been the other way i'm right? not going to mention roger clemens i right. would never do that you know i i, I would never say that you yeah, know, I, I just i would never put anyone down but you know i would never mention him you or, just made you know. demino very happy how about that <laughs> big smile yeah there you go well you know you know he was in boston for a few years but, you know, he, so. but he wasn't an all-timer huh the all-timer Absolutely all time. Treated people awful. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. tipped awful. Yeah, he just was uh, just 
obnoxious, I must say. But I would never say anything no, bad about you. No. Would say it, yeah, no. Again, that's not who you are. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, you're going to turn to your priest. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk like that about people. <laughs> hey, they, uh, $20 off for any $100 gift card. If you're at the mall, check these guys out. I'm doing a big cocktail hour there in a couple of weeks as well. Really trying to let people know about Davies. You know where the old Nike town was? Yes. Right where the movie theater entrance is? That's where these guys are. Phenomenal Easy Italian access, food. that means. Yeah, great happy hours. Executive lunches for like 14 bucks, And the most important... Because Stevie's an old school guy, it's about the food. And we haven't had a throw steak out yet, right? No. Yeah, you were you were pretty good the other night. You were in there, you were, relatively I, speaking. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't like the way I drink vodka. He thinks it's very strange. Well, he sits there and looks at it for about ten minutes, and then he drinks the whole thing at once. I'm like, you know, most people sip their drinks. I don't, I've I, never seen anyone. Well, like, Steve, it's not a pleasurable well, experience well, watching. How about do that it? look on the face afterwards? Though. Yeah, yeah. Ah, bitter ah, beer ah, face. His bitter, eyes, yeah. his eyes start to water. <laughs> and, you know, and, and he squints. What's, you know, yeah, and, and you look at him going, you, "You're gonna be okay." You're like, "I'm always worried like he's just gonna go bang right down, fall right down on the." Well, ball. he usually does. <laughs> <laughs> That's much later, I think, in yeah. the evening. That's when I usually go home. I go, I, it's time yeah. for me to go back to the I hotel. I have been out with him when what? he just says, I'm going to exit. Smart man. <laughs> all right. Hey, Stevie from Davios, ask for him. And Claude does a great job as well, one of the all-time GMs in town. Right there at Phipps. Bring the girlfriends, right, Sandy, Sandy, and Absolutely. check it out. Absolutely. We've been getting place. a lot of hot girls here. Last night was unbelievable. Amanda's at the bar, right? Amanda was there last night, and uh, it's been amazing. Yeah, Atlanta's a good friend. Well, I huh? think the mall, I think a lot of the girls that go shopping there. How's it's Giselle good. been when she's been in the restaurant? She's, oh, oh. Tom Brady's wife, you mean? Yeah. Oh, my God. She's, her accent. Yeah. You know, I'm obviously she's a beautiful woman, but when she talks to you, you can't really respond. Because you just, like, <laughs> she's talking to me. Right. She's actually talking to me. <laughs> you know, that's all you, well, you know, Tom Brady's one of those guys where it, when he's in the restaurant, half the restaurant want to sleep with him. And, right. and those are men. So, you know, it's kind of odd. <laughs> I, I raise my hand. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Tavio's right. over at Fitz. We'll Thank come you, back. 9-11 The Time on Sports Radio 790 The Zone. Sports Radio 790 The Zone. Sports Radio.